Let me show you how I made this super easy, super simple, all edible wafer paper hydrangea. After cutting my petals, I lightly brushed them with wafer paper conditioner. And once those dried up a little, I put them in a veiner to give it more texture and to make it look more realistic. Once those petals have dried up, then I take a little bit of wafer paper glue at the tips of each petal and glue them together and set them aside to dry. Now once these petal sets have dried, you're going to grab two of these sets and glue them together. A small dab of this wafer paper glue goes a long way. Once these petals are glued together, then you're going to go ahead and set them aside and let them dry. Hydrangeas are such a simple yet beautiful flower, especially for weddings. Now let me show you how I stuck this flower on a wire. I used a 30 gauge wire here and I wrapped it around my wire cutter. And then I turned it at a 90 degree angle and that's where your flower is going to be sitting on. Then you're going to grab a small piece of wafer paper, put a hole right through the middle, and that's where you're going to be putting your wire in. Now once you stick your wire all the way through and have the wafer paper sitting at the top, then you're going to put a generous amount of the wafer paper glue. Then you simply grab your flower and glue it on the wire. Now once that's dried, you can go ahead and work on putting the center of your hydrangea. Here I'm putting a small drop of piping gel and I put a sugar pearl right in the center and it worked perfectly. I got to use these hydrangeas at a wedding this past weekend and I was so happy how they came out. If you know me, I love to make things look as realistic as possible and I really felt like these hydrangeas looked realistic.